What is going on everyone? Welcome to another video from Feature Tech. In this video, I'm gonna be unboxing and reviewing the Govi Smart LED Light Bars. Let's get started. So let's begin by unboxing and seeing what you get when you purchase these light bars. Now, I should mention this goes for $80 on Amazon, but sometimes it can be on sale and you can find it for like 10, 20, you know, it really depends on whatever promotion Govi has going on at the time. Okay, so right away from opening up the box, you get the user manual. And then this is pretty much telling you to download the Govi app, which we're gonna go over later in the video. And then opening up, you got this little box here. So we're gonna just open that up. Okay, so starting with the light bars is the first box that you get up top when you unbox everything. The light bars are made out of this plastic, as you can hear. Okay, and the one thing I didn't really expect when buying this is I didn't expect it for, for it to be this small. Uh, it really, I would say it's about six to eight inches. So it's not really that big. So in case you're wondering how big it is, it really isn't that bad course same thing with the other one right here now that I put the light bars aside let's see what else you get so right here you have the light bar stands so if you just want to put them on your desk next to your laptop you can do that for example just like this and pretty much you can have it standing up on your desk or next to your TV whatever the case may be so we're gonna put these stands right here to the side and then the other pieces that you get are the put the box to the side for a second now these are meant to go behind your tv on a flat area hence the adhesive you peel that off and you stick it to the back of the tv i'm going to show you my setup later in the video so we're going to put those as well to the side Okay, next is the sensor that you put on top of your TV. And this sensor is meant for it to look down and detect the colors of whatever you're watching. And it can match and sync the light bars with whatever colors of that you're seeing on your TV, which is really cool. This is your power cable to power everything up. Okay, and right here, they're also giving you very thick sponges. And then finally, this is the final box. you have your control settings for the light bars. Okay, so now that we unboxed everything, let me now show you how to set up your light bars. Now, everything is gonna go through this control panel right here, as you're gonna see, and you're gonna have your USB-C for your light bars, and it's gonna control both light bars, by the way, not just one, and you're gonna just plug in the USB-C cable right here, and then once you do, you're gonna take your power cable, the DC cable, which I already plugged in the wall outlet on the other end, so it has power. And then once you plug it in, you're gonna get this red light that's gonna pop from the control panel, and that means it is powered on and ready to go. And then all you have left now is to actually plug in the camera, and this is gonna actually sync all the colors that you are watching on your TV if you choose to do so. So you have many different customizable options for these light bars, which I'm gonna demonstrate later in the video. But for the USB, you just simply plug it in right next to where the USB-C was, right here, and then you're ready to go. And then finally, because I'm gonna have the light bar standing up, I'm using the stand-up stand for the light bars. So now I'm gonna set everything up with my monitor and I'm gonna come back and show you guys what it looks like. Okay, everyone, so I just finished the physical setup. I am recording from my iPhone. And as you can see, I have the light bars on the stand right here and they're obviously facing the wall. And I have all the wires for the light uh, bars running through here to this control panel like I showed you. Now about this control panel, you have your power button to turn on the lights. As you can see, it just turned on. And then next you have you can shift between different, uh, you can toggle between different colors. So we can press that now. And as you can see, it changed. I uh, do not have the lights off, so I can be able to show you the setup. 
so that's why you can't see the colors that well but finally you have right here this setting where you can change the different modes so as you can see the color red has been pretty steady now if i press like this as you can see it's changing it's shifting different between different colors like green yellow red etc and that is how the control panel works now of course you can't control it 100 percent through here you also have the Goovy app, which I'm gonna show you next, because then that would complete the setup 100%. Now, finally, you have the sync camera right here. Now, the sync camera right here is, as soon as you connect it, you have to make sure that everything is set by just checking to see that that blue light is turned on. Once it is, that means it is powered on and it's ready to go. So once you download the Goovy Home app, and you set up your Wi-Fi connection and you, you do have to create an account, just a heads up. But once you do, you're gonna have to calibrate the sync sensor that I showed you that you put on top of the TV. So in order to do that, you have to stick those orange sponges, those like orange foam sponges that I showed you earlier when I was unboxing everything. You have to put that around your screen to calibrate the sync. Now, as you can already see based on the recording, it is, it's very well in sync with my voice and that's the whole purpose of the microphone. But now we're gonna calibrate the sync camera to make sure that it syncs with the colors of your TV. So whatever show you're watching, you can watch it and have the colors of the show that you're watching be synced up to the colors on the wall. So to do that, you're gonna press ready to prepare the calibration. We did stick the foam on the screen and we're gonna say ready. And I'm gonna say that the camera is on top of the monitor. And then now I'm just going to adjust the, the pinpoints here. And there we go. Nope, actually, let's go back. Okay, so it did get a good amount of it. It was pretty accurate for the most part, but there we go. And now we press next. And submit. And now it's saying calibration successful. And now we have the light bars synced with the TV or monitor that you're using and you're ready to go. Okay, so now that we calibrated the screen and the camera itself that syncs the colors, let me now give you a tour of the app. Now, up on the top of the screen, you're gonna see the two light bars being presented to you and you can turn both of them off at the same time or individually. So for example, if I would like to turn off the left light bar, I can do that without turning off the right one. And there we go. So the left one is off. Now I can turn back the left one and turn off the right one, just like that. And there you go. So they don't both have to be on at the same time. Now, moving down to the effects lab. Now the effects lab is pretty cool because it gives you different themes uh, of colors. So for example, if we go under desserts, you have jelly bean, jelly bean number two, hard candy. Now let's just say I select this blue color under the gingerbread. Not only can I just select it, but I can also add it to my colors like cache and I can just tap and hold on the color. And as you can see, it says saved successfully to my colors. So now we're gonna go back and it's gonna be under this color as you can see down here. That is the same color that we selected. Now, if I go back under video, this is the syncing of the colors that we were talking about earlier and this is what it does. Now you have two options. You can either split the screen and what that means is that each light bar is gonna sync with the colors to either side of the screen and it's pretty much gonna split up the colors for you. Or you can have it focus on one color and you can turn it to full screen. So now both light bars are working at the same time with the same color scheme and they're not both 
using separate colors. So you do have that option when it comes to syncing any colors you may be looking at from watching any movies or TV shows. Next, you have your music. Um, your music mode. Now the music mode, you have different settings here. You have vivid, rhythm, strike, and vibrate. So this is rhythm, this is strike, and this is vibrate. And you can also adjust the sensitivity. And then another cool feature is that you can actually switch from the, from the circle right here, which represents the light bars, to the phone itself. And as you can see, here's the equalizer here from my voice and it's just syncing with my voice. So I can say something like, what is going on everyone? Welcome to another video from Featured Tech. And the lights will sync with my voice. You also have different modes for those lights when it comes to syncing with your voice. So it's currently on calm, but I can select dynamic, so it pops off a lot more aggressively. And then finally, party. And party also makes the lights much more interactive with your voice. Now, going back to the color here, under the color mode. Now, we did have it to this color, and as you can see, it changed this color that we selected under that jelly bean or gingerbread effect. Now, you can actually customize every single part of the light bar. So, as you can see, if I tap on this part right here, where I put the green check, I can actually adjust it to red, for example. So it doesn't have to be all blue, which is very in-depth when it comes to customizing. Now, if we move on to scenes, you have different scenes. You have reading, which will pretty much change the colors to a bright LED light. You have movie, candlelight, now I'm going to skip a little bit around here and you have seasonal, bloom, and then let's take a look at rainbow. So you have a bunch of different scenes you can choose from and then finally you can do your own scene right here and you can add it as well as adding a shortcut. Now going back to the main area here where it says brightness, timer, and effects. Now we went over the effects already. Moving on to timer, this is really cool. So you can actually set up the timer to anything you want. So you can set it for five minutes and it can pretty much turn off after five minutes or you can set it to wake you up. So if you have these lights by your nightstand or in your room, you can have it set up to wake you up with a certain color or scheme that you, uh, you want. So that's pretty cool as well. Now, brightness, this is very straightforward. You can just adjust the brightness of the colors. So let me go back to the sync here so you can take a look at the colors syncing with the screen. Now, I know the screen is smaller uh, or bigger than the actual footage I'm showing you, and that's because the monitor is actually plugged in via HDMI to my iPad and I'm using a copyright free mood scene from uh, YouTube, hence why the screen or the footage that you're seeing is smaller than the actual screen because it's actually mirroring my iPad. So keep that in mind. I know some of you is gonna comment saying something about that, but that's the reason why the footage is smaller than the screen. Now that I've finished giving you a walkthrough of the Goovy Home app and how you can control your light settings, now let me share with you my thoughts about these. Now, honestly, I love this. I think it's worth every penny. And the reason why is that I currently own a Philips Hue light strip that I paid $100 for that included the bridge. But I can tell you for a fact, it does not sync up with whatever shows or music or even your voice the way I showed you, like these. The Goovy lights are way better in my opinion and it's a cheaper alternative to the Philips Hue light strips or even their gradient light. And the reason why is that syncing feature. That sync feature is extremely crucial because if you're trying to get the same sync that you want to get with the Philips Hue light strips, you have to go out and buy an HDMI sync box. And the HDMI sync box goes for anywhere from $300 to $400 depending on your luck. Sometimes you can find it even a little bit cheaper than 300 bucks, but that is about it. So between the light strips and the Philips Hue, you know, HDMI sync box, 
you're paying almost 400 bucks, even more, to get the lights to sync with whatever show you're watching or whatever music you're listening to, which is just a lot of money. But this is a way better alternative to the Philips Hue lights because it's just a lot cheaper. Everything I showed you here today goes for $80, but a lot of the times it's actually on promotion from Goovy. So a lot of times you can actually find it for 65, 70, around that range. Most likely it is always on promotion on Amazon. So these are my thoughts on this. And if you're looking for lights that sync with your monitor or TV, whatever the case may be, I highly recommend these. So this was my unboxing and setup of the Goofy Smart LED light bars. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave them down below. I hope you have a great day. Take care.